I hope you guys are enjoying watching some chips fly on our DNM 5700. I wanted to bring you guys in the programming room and show you guys a little bit about the toolpath that I put together. As you guys can tell, you guys saw some pretty big rooster tails flying off of that part. This is actually the Titan 505M, a part on our Aerospace Academy that I blew up to five or 10 times the size so we can use a big monster piece of material, get some nice chips cutting. I'm actually using a 3 fourths Core 5 and it is 2.2 deep and 10% axial. So we have some nice cuts going on. There's some good pocketing happening. We actually switch over to a half inch core five for those pockets, 400 inches a minute in that helix through spindle coolant. As you guys could tell watching the machining process, I have some step ups on this part happening. And that's because we are putting together a separate video for you guys on finishing this part, we're gonna be doing some ball tracking. And the cool thing about that video is gonna be, we're gonna show you two different tool paths. The parts basically gonna be right down the center. Half of it is gonna be one tool path, half of it will be another. And we're gonna show you why it matters when you're in Mastercam, what type of tool path you use for ball tracking depending on the angles that are on your feature. It's gonna be a great video. You guys will see some beautiful finishes and you'll learn a lot. And if you guys wanna make something happen like this at your guys' shop on your machines, you can actually find uh, the Core 5, 3 fourths, half inch, 3 eighths, all of them and more. You can go to our Titans of CNC store. Great deals, it's really easy to place an order and the link's down below, so you guys should check it out. And like I said before, don't forget to stay tuned for those videos that we have coming out on this part and many more on our YouTube page. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.